Yo, what's up guys? Zephyr here. Now, the devs just dropped their first kind of like Q&A kind of thing where they talk about issues and what's coming up next here. And there is just say a lot to talk about. Now, first of all, Weathering Web's devs, you know, uh, the people who made PGR or Punishing Grey Ravens, they've always been good to us, you know, back in, you know, Punishing Grey Raven times. But ever since Weathering Waves came out, they have really been on the ball with just like like being really open, you know, and that's that's the kind of thing you don't really find anymore nowadays with, you know, these game companies that they're not really transparent anymore. And we know when there's something wrong or, you know, there's issues going on with the game, usually they either they will, you know, talk about it, but then they won't actually fix it right away or they'll just act like it never really like doesn't exist. I don't know. I'm not trying to, you know, <laughs> write them or anything, but I'm just saying that it's good to finally have a company that like genuinely cares about their game. And it's a shame that that is such a hard thing to find nowadays. But but anyway, sorry. We're talking about this. Uh, but yeah, so they pretty much dropped this. They still go in and tell us about, you know, the working on the you know optimization, which is something that I have seen a lot of people, you know, talk about, which me could honestly. The, for me, the game runs pretty fine. It's only when I first boot it up, there would be like some stuttering and like my like my mouse will like freak out a bit and like I'll get like my camera flung. But besides that, after it settles in about like 30 seconds or like 20 seconds, it's fine. Like there's not really anything wrong with it. But I can understand for people on lower end systems who, you know, are chugging with this game. Like I remember all the TikToks where people were just like absolutely having like a slideshow with this game. So there definitely is optimization to be had. And another thing I've seen is the whole echo thing, you know, that it feels grindy and all that, which uh, I'm not, I mean, I'm always down for easier things. You know, I'm not gonna complain about free you know, making the system easier. However, it is their whole main thing, I'd say. Like, this system, the Echo thing. That's their entire gimmick. You know, that's how this game kind of runs. So, I can understand why they decided, or why they first initially thought, to make it kind of, like, grindy. Because, you know, th these are your relics, right? You know, in other games, like, you know, Star Rogue, Genshin, or whatever, they make you grind relics with the actual energy points, right? So, there's a cap to it. So, it... No matter, you know, how many gems you spend or how many, you know, stamina refreshes you have, you are going to eventually stop, right? But with these echoes, you can just kind of keep going. Like, there's no real, like, need to stop grinding them if you need them. And then with the whole, like, pity system that everybody found out about, and, uh, you know, you can actually, like, kind of force your drops, that it may feel grindy. And again, if you don't do the whole, like, forcing, like, what you want kind of thing, then it will really feel grindy. But, you know, I'm so glad that, you know, they're acknowledging that hey people are complaining about this and that you know mostly leveling them up and all that is just too grindy and you know and I, I get it i do but i'm glad to see that first of all they're gonna have a limited time you know double yield for the echo materials meaning like more xp which is absolutely huge because i do agree that getting xp like capsules for your echoes is kind of weird like it's definitely not as common as your, your resonator xp and your weapon xp so that's good that they're doing this. This is a big one for me. This is... <laughs> I... I remember spending about an hour and a half just doing tacit fields over and over and over again to get, like, just kind of just stockpiled on, on Echoes, right? And... The cutscene... The, the, the 10 second cutscene, it killed me every single time. Like, it's... I get why they do it. And, you know, a first time thing like, oh, wow, this is animation. But after you do it, it, it's like grinding, you know, it's after you do it so many times, you get tired of it. And wow, it really took up time of just like getting it done quicker. So I'm glad that they're finally deciding to get rid of this or at least add an option to where you can stop watching it. And then yeah, obviously um, less credits for echo development. Always nice. Okay, this one actually surprises me. I'm, they're going over the Overdash Club, which I'm sure you know, if you've been playing this game, you know what this is. It's that little parkour, like, daily thing. And to me, it was fine. I mean, it's not really hard. And the rewards are, I guess, decent. But it seems that they're going to offer a new event that's going to add even better rewards and, you know, to improve the actual experience of the event. Uh, it, Again, it, it's not a bad first event, but it's definitely, like, nothing crazy. Like, I guess this could be a callback for y'all if any of you know this. When I think first event, I think of like early Genshin with the with the meteorite event with like Fischl, and where you first met Scaramouche or a Wanderer. But anyways, uh, yeah, so that's fine. Uh, Asteroid's always good, you know, to get the funny mommy character. Um, 
elite class echoes, all that. All good stuff. And then here's the thing about this though. They they compensate us with uh pulls, right? The the good ones too, like for the actual banner character. Obviously they go over which you know, 1.1 update where we actually get to fight Jew and then, you know, the resonators and then the new area. Which is I mean, first of all, this is crazy. Like this is something insanely to put inside of a like a patch note. This is a huge spoiler. Now, this is something that I'm actually really glad to talk about. This whole thing. Uh, I have this weird problem, and I'm not sure if this is addressed. Uh, I'm, I hope so, or at least they do find it. But whenever I am fighting, or if I tab out, like it's it's. I'm not sure if it's a tab out thing or if it's just kind of random. But it will feel like my sensitivity will get like super lowered. Like the camera will like, like it feels like the camera gets like really heavy, out of nowhere. And then after like maybe a couple seconds, it'll go back to like the way like, it usually feels. And it's such a specific thing with me. And I notice it every time. Like anytime it happens, I notice it. And again, with not only that, but with the whole like my camera will get like flung. Like, <laughs> but it only happens when I first boot up the game and like 30 seconds in. And I've tried moving around too fast. It seems like the game like kind of stutters and then it just kind of shoots my camera out. And so I'll be I'll do like a whole like 360 or whatever. So, hopefully, with this, you know, they will go and touch about that. I might need to go make a ticket myself, honestly, just to talk about that specifically and just go and <laughs> complain about it, I guess. I hope to get it fixed. But yeah, yeah um, auto-aim and auto-locking is, is kind of weird, you know. It's, it is very, like, it does its job, but it could be a little better. So I'm glad that they're talking about that. Okay, so this one specifically, too, actually, I just did, like, a couple hours ago. Um, I was buying out the, the medical supplies in the pharmacy and the healing one didn't have a cap. So I now have 236 of these healing items that I spent like 200k for. Or like 20,000, some of that. So it, I'm, I'm glad. You know, I hope they do add a cap to that because... <laughs> I mean, at least for healing, I'm stacked, right? I mean, I I generally have like over 200 of these healing items now because I, I thought that there was a cap. Because there's also, that's where you also buy the flowers and all that for your characters. And that has a cap of 20. So I was like, oh, if the flowers have a cap, then the medical supplies must have a cap too. And then no, it didn't. So now I have 200 plus, but I'm glad that this could be fixed eventually. The main part away or the main takeaway was just that event thing. Uh, and the little teaser we got for the new, the new update for 1.1. So this could be cool. Can't wait for this. And, uh... Let's just hop in game real quick and go check, check out the rewards, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, they they give us 10,000 XP for the, the podcast? For the, the battle pass? What? Wait, so where does that put me now? Oh, that just gave you 10 levels for free. Hell yeah, now I got my, my damn weapon of choice. Let's claim it all. Nice. See, this is about how much money I had before I actually spent it all on healing items. So that's good. And then obviously we love the, the free way plates. Awesome. Okay, cool, cool. And then obviously that second reward was another 20? 20. What, 20 times 6? 60 times 20? What, hold on. 60 times 20? They give us 1,200 energy for free. That is... Wow. Okay, well, <laughs> I, don't remember, I don't remember reading that part. Okay, cool. So, obviously, we got our 10 free wishes for the, the, the standard, or not the standard, the character event banner. And then this is for the actual weapon one. And then, again, our free 20... Wow, I'm just... I mean, I, I guess you wouldn't want to use them yet because they haven't rolled out the new Echo thing or the update to make it easier. So I feel like using them now, or at least using them all right now, just to farm Echoes would be like... Why not Echoes? Just to farm like materials and all that. And I guess Echoes too. Would be a little bit of waste. So maybe hold off on grinding too hard until we get that quality of life update. But that's just crazy. First of all, I, I'm, just, I'm actually shocked about that. I did not expect for them to give us that much. Um, uh, wow, okay. So, that's pretty much it, I'd say. <laughs> I 
I need to, I, I need to go see that. Hold on. I just need to go see this this number. 20. That is Wow. Cool. See, I this game, man. Wuthering Ways people. They they love us. They absolutely love us. But anyways, that'll be it for me. Uh I can't wait for 1.1. I can't wait for this new echo like update and all that for the new new grinding and all that and just making it easier as a process. And yeah, thank you for watching. And uh, I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.